Today, a major shift in the global aerospace and defense industries has been announced. The Italian Ministry of Business has approved the sale of Piaggio Aero Industries and Piaggio Aviation, operating under the iconic Piaggio Aerospace brand, to Baykar Makina, a leading Turkish defense company known for its state-of-the-art UAV technologies. This move marks a significant milestone for both companies. Piaggio Aerospace, with over 100 years of aviation expertise, has been a cornerstone of Italian engineering. However, financial challenges forced the company into extraordinary administration in 2018. Now with Baycar's acquisition, Piaggio's legacy enters a new era. Baycar, globally recognized for its UAV systems like the Bayraktar TB2, is set to diversify its portfolio, stepping into manned aviation and propulsion systems. This acquisition offers Baycar the chance to merge Piaggio's decades of experience in traditional aircraft manufacturing with its own cutting-edge unmanned technologies. The potential is enormous. By combining Piaggio's expertise and Baycar's innovative approach, the industry could see groundbreaking developments, such as hybrid aircraft or next-generation unmanned combat systems. The deal also grants Baycar access to Piaggio's established markets across Europe and Asia, positioning the Turkish company for broader global influence in both civilian and defense aviation sectors. For Italy, this sale resolves years of uncertainty around Piaggio Aerospace while safeguarding jobs and preserving its aviation legacy. Italian authorities have emphasized that the deal complies with national security regulations, ensuring key interests remain protected. This acquisition is more than a business transaction, it represents a pivotal moment in the aerospace industry. For Baycar, it's a leap toward becoming a global powerhouse in both manned and unmanned aviation. For Piaggio Aerospace, it's a fresh start, ensuring its expertise continues to shape the future of flight. Stay tuned as we follow this evolving story and its impact on the global aerospace landscape.